Hey guys, what's up? It's Crod9 here, and we're gonna be playing some Maple Story. We're gonna play the new event stuff. Um, it is a bit lower in the level range where it's around level 33 plus. But why not just go ahead and play it on X Persona? Because you guys love my Phantom. And uh why not? So it's not exactly a terribly hard quest line. It is rather interesting. It starts off on a good note, which I kinda like. Um, before you even, like, get to this area, you're able to accept the quest, it's like a light bulb above your head. And it goes, We have a, we have a thing we need your help with. And your character literally just goes, Please don't teleport me, cause it's like, he knows. From every single quest in the past, you're, he's gonna get teleported. He's gonna get teleported no matter what. So your character's like, please, just don't, don't teleport me, please. Please don't. And, uh, he still gets teleported, it's pretty funny. Um, however... This event isn't exactly too interesting or too different. Um, if you're into the Maple Story lore, if you're interested into the story, this is just another bonus for you. However, if you're not too interested like me, because you kind of can assume where it's going, uh, it's pretty bad. I don't know if you can skip these, but you can't like press Ent. Wait, can you just press NPC chat? You can't even press NPC chat. So I don't really like these cutscenes because unless I'm doing something wrong, you can't you can't do much except press next. Yeah, just cut to the chase, god damn it. Awesome. I wish you could just talk to me like- No, talk to me through like a normal quest bubble. Like, I, I appreciate the art and everything, right? But my character still looks like shit. I wish they like updated, um... The character sprites where it's a smoothed out uh, layout. It's not like pixelated, just smooth. Uh, cause that would give it the illusion like this. Not exactly, but it would give it an illusion of that. Which I think would work pretty nicely. Oh my god, we just keep talking to this girl, don't we? Seriously, is there, is there no... Space, maybe? Oh, space does it! I, I was wrong! Space! Space cuts the cutscenes! Oh, but it also makes me use my skills. Oh my god, that makes the world easier, actually. A lot of dialogue in this. Alright, we're good. I find the wild hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> My god, for all of you like old school people, you might know that song. So I don't really think I need to use my skills here because these are very, very low level enemies. Unless they scale to your level, which I don't think they do because that would be kind of stupid. Uh, they do scale to your level. Alright, never mind. That is not as stupid as I thought it would be. However, their HP is pretty high. Uh, and I have to kill 30 of them. Alright, it's not too bad. So they do scale with your level, which means this area is actually pretty significant, I guess. Uh, XP-wise, you're not really getting much. Um, again, higher the range, the better it is from you, because uh, it's Maple Story now, guys. We all know how it goes, where range matters the most. You know, it doesn't matter your level, it doesn't matter what skills you have, it's all about range these days. <laughs> A little bit of pessimism there, but uh, I guess I'm kind of still like exhausted from the whole Maple Story uh, system right now. Where it's like, the higher range you have, the better you're gonna do. Cause I still feel like that, that that's how Maple Story goes. It's so pay to win. But, let's be optimistic for once. For once in my life, I'll be optimistic about Maple Story. <laughs> um, the music is nice, I'll give it that much. I, I do like the music here. I, I do like very calming, pleasing music. It is very nice, actually. I'm, I'm, I'll give it to them. One thing, I'll still, one thing I'll love about Maple Story, no matter what happens, is the music. Every single soundtrack in this game, besides like the hardcore metal stuff like uh, Crimson Woodkeep, I'm not the biggest fan of. But the peaceful stuff like T uh, Temple of Time... Um, what was I going to say? Temple of Time... Uh, Cygnus Garden, love Cygnus Garden. Uh, those kind of things I, I, I enjoy greatly. So, you know, if I keep hearing more of those, that's awesome. Like. The town music here isn't bad. It's actually very nice. How the fuck are you moonwalking? <laughs> My god. Wait, where am I supposed to go with the, with the items? Is that free market up there? Alright. I didn't see that she had the quest uh, finished over here. Alright, cool, cool. Moving on. What is this? Flag race decline. I don't like flag race. I don't know if you guys are the same way. But Flag Race just bores the living hell out of me. Uh, quest, quest, quest. Clobber fifth wild rolling hedgehogs. Sorry? Does this bring me back to Maple World? 
It does, okay. So that's kind of disappointing. I thought this would bring me somewhere cool. It did not. So I'm assuming I could just go through here to go to the quest line again. Is, is this the Alishan? Alishan? Yes, it is. All right, cool. So if you want to go back to Maple World, that's how you do it. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go that way. That's the only real way I can go right now. Okay, so these are randomly generated maps, meaning no one can go into this map area. It's only you. Um, because it goes by level range. So I don't know if every map is like that. I'm assuming some maps are conjoined. Uh, rolling logs! Alright, these are pretty cool enemies. Except, uh, they need to disable the resampling on these things. Holy crap. Um, but pretty cool enemies, actually. I, I do like the design. They're simple. They're clean. They're unique for fucking MMO for once. Damn. It's not just a zombie or something. They do hit pretty hard. They do pretty hard, though. Alright, we are killing them at a pretty fast rate, though. That's good. And luckily, uh, having this skill uh, just makes it all the easier. Because it hits both platforms that way. I'm assuming, like, depending... Uh, does that do enough damage, really? Yeah, it does, actually. I'm okay with that. It doesn't do as much damage as I would like it to do, but it does enough to where I'm more satisfied with it. Kind of wish my range was a bit higher though for like these kind of events because uh now that we have scaling events, it's not that these things are impossible to kill. They're 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 reasonable. It's just that I wish I could just walk and kill as I walk and kill. But at the same time, I did complain about that for a long time where it's like, oh, that's a very boring uh, style of gameplay. Also, I want to see how much experience these things give me. Uh, how much experience do you guys give me? Let me know. Oh, that's actually a very, very little amount. That's that's terrible. Do these things scale? I don't know. Six experience. I I understand it's a level thirty three plus area, but I I want do 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 they give you eight eight k experience level thirty three? That that'd be cool. I'd be happy with that honestly. I will accept that. I probably w shouldn't have to like be walking back constantly, but I'm doing it for whatever reason. Alright, what's next? Go kill more things. Alright, cool. Let's go kill more things. So, so far, uh, not bad. Um, I do like killing events over looting events, if you guys know those. It's like, loot 100 of these items and bring it back to me. It's like, what's the point? What is the point of me giving you these items? You're an NPC. At least let me kill them to, like, banish them to the Shadow Realm or some shit. But, I digress. Alright. New area, new monsters. Let's see the design on these. And... Not as good as the other ones. Uh, just because these are just... These look like... What's that, what's that bear called? Um... From uh from Pokemon, what's that bear? The bear Pokemon from the Generation Two, uh, Ursuline, something like that. Fuck, I don't remember the exact name of that Pokemon, but I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, right? God damn it! So I recently moved, and now outside, all I hear is them like watering their gardens and lowing and low, lowing the mall and um mowing the lawn a lot. So it's kind of a uh, annoying to hear every day now, but uh. That's what you get for living in a new place, uh, yeah. Sorry guys about that, if you, get, if you can hear it, maybe my editing software will remove it. Uh, because I have been, like, looking into how to make my audio cleaner for, uh, future stuff. And, uh, I guess I'll take this opportunity to tell you guys about the future of Cry9. Uh, because I, I feel like it's kind of important, and, uh, it's MapleStory content, which means that this is gonna get the most views. So I think that's the best way it's, like send it to you guys so i don't know if it's gonna be part one or part two right now or like whoa i've only been recording for 10 minutes damn but this is definitely part one um i'm gonna be doing a lot more variety content so you probably heard this from vangoro before if you subscribe to vangoro too if you guys haven't subscribed to vangoro go do it really awesome dude very swell very uh just nice guy so go subscribe to him um but anyways uh, I want to do more League of Legends content, I want to do more gaming content, and MapleStory will still be there, just not as prevalent, um, because I'm getting kind of burnt out. Uh, I'll play definitely every time a new patch comes out, I'll make a video about patch notes, 
Um, I might make it like a segment because uh, I've been asked to do that recently. I don't know why. Like nine people messaged me saying, hey, you should do like a Wednesday weekly update thingy. And I'm like, okay, maybe. Uh, so I might do that. We'll see. Kind of iffy on it because uh, the patches recently have been pretty bad. Um, this patch is decent, um, but not great. Thanksgiving events, we've had them before for the last 10 years. Uh, this is the only new content, but exactly like it's not amazing. It's definitely not something a level 200 is going to stop with their stop on their tracks and be like, we need to do this. The, the experience is great. It's, it's not. It's, it's bad. I, I don't think I've gained 0.01% at all yet. I'm going to like look into the video at the beginning and be like, did I gain any percentage out of this quest line? But um, yeah, so as I was saying, League of Legends content is going to be more prevalent because uh, I've been addicted to League. Um, and thank you for a lot of you guys. Um, I kind of said this on Facebook on my uh, fan page where I was like, hey, I'll still do Maple Story, but let's be honest here, I want to do other content. Uh, so I'm going to be doing more League of Legends stuff and more like video game stuff. And I got so much support. Um, thank you guys for the overwhelming support, by the way. Like, a lot of you guys were like, Car9, you know, I I'm a big subscriber of yours. I haven't been subscribed for like a while now. I'm really excited to see new content. And I'm just like, I actually got one of these messages a and then it came again then I got a second one then a third one then a fourth one and I'm just like what but yeah thank you guys even like one or two of you even supporting me like doing other games I appreciate it because you know you can go look at my maple videos I get like three four K views and then you look at like League of Legends I get like 1k like it's still something but I'm just like it's not maple story something hey right, sure let's just do this but regardless, that's what I'm gonna like. Don't feel that I'm quitting Maple Story forever. I'm not at all. That's it. Just you know, keep that in mind. All right. So just a bunch of quest stuff. Nothing amazing. All right. So I'm just gonna skip this all because I'm kind of tired of reading it again. Read it way too many times. So we have a, a oh. I like the design on these guys. These guys remind me of uh, Darksiders. If you haven't played Darksiders and you want a PS3 or a PC that's good, or a 360, or even a PS4 these days, uh, definitely invest into it. I think Darksiders is an amazing game. How am I supposed to get up here? If I didn't have uh, that skill. Interested. Interesting. Oh, let me guess the poles bring you up. I kind of want to figure this one out, actually. Find out. So, okay, that, that, okay, that, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm, I'm pretty hyped about that one. Alright, give me a pull. I do like these an, uh, enemy designs, they're pretty cool. Um, they do beat the generic <laughs> story enemy design, though. Um, but I kinda miss, like, the old school days of having snails and, like, slimes. Cause those were, like, hella unique for Maple. And now these days, it's, like, all these, like, these looking guys. I would so train at these guys if they were like at Stronghold or something instead. Can, can we have that please? Can we have these guys at Stronghold? Oh man, that'd be pretty cool actually. I wish that could happen. What? I just fell. Let's use this skill. I haven't used it in a long, long time. Oh yeah, because it's not that good. They nerfed it so hard. Wow, it does no damage. I remember that skill used to be like the go-to phantom skill. Um, Cause it'd be like the most damageful one. Is my is any of my inventory full? I just kinda wanna check. No, and yes actually, this one is. So let's empty this one out a little bit. Oh my god, all these Halloween event things. God damn it, dude. I'm trying to empty out my inventory, you attack me. Let's see, let's move forward a little bit, then use that. Awesome. So now they get damaged for a little bit. Uh, these enemies aren't getting any progressively stronger. They're just... There. Ooh, hiccups. Also, um, I, I really should apologize for this. For those of you who like my maple um, talk video, like Karate Talks, yeah, I, I'm sorry. 
Um, I've, I've had the footage for like two months now, right? And I keep forgetting to record for the videos. Uh, why do I feel like we've seen this design like 900 times with this guy? So the background should start going faster, right? I, I thought he tweaked it to go faster, but it's going at the same speed. What? All right. Well, I see Maple Train. Let's uh go kill that guy. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go in here? Oh. Oh, now it changes. What? How did I die? Huh? What? What? It just happened. 